Okay, we're almost done with the top row. We're going to talk about reserves. A couple of things I want to point out, and we'll get into the edit function here in just a second, or, or entry, if you will, for adding reserves. But right off the top, I wanted to point this out. For a Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac loan, some jumbo loans, stocks and bonds, they're only going to count 70% of the value. For an FHA loan, though, they will count 100%. Now, when you look at this particular borrower here, borrower two, they have retirement funds. Well, those retirement funds face value is $19,250. But according to the guidelines, you can only use 60% of it. With FHA, you can use 70%. Lannis Tier 1 is going to do all those out, uh, calculations for you. So put your calculator away. You don't need it. The other thing is it's going to measure the reserves for each and every loan that you're done. In this situation, we've got five loans. Now, in previous uh, training, we had additional properties, okay? And those additional properties were investment properties. Well, the guidelines are right down here, okay? For primary residence, you're buying, you don't need reserves. Non-owner, six months worth of PITI. We only have a few properties here, 2%, 2% for one to four finance properties. If there were five or six, you'd have to have 4%. So in this particular situation, again, only 2%, but it does all the calculations for you. Here's your total cost to purchase the home, reserves available, the reserve requirement, and how much in the way of reserves you have left. Now in this particular situation, we also were selling a property. Over here, we have this really cool calculator. Remember, we put in what the market value of the home was, the first and the second, principal interest on the first and the second. And then at that point, you have to figure out what the closing costs are going to be. In California, for example, we use uh, an escrow service. And the typical 1.25% is a good percentage point to use as far as your actual closing costs. And in this situation, you know, 5% or 6% realtor commissions. And again, it's going to net it out for you. Now also, if you're going to pay off debt, It'll calculate that for you so you know what your net net dollar amount is going to be coming out of the sale of this property. Very key, very important to understand because, again, if you have a negative number down here, don't even bother submitting the loan because you don't have enough reserves and that loan will never go through. Now, could they use gift funds? The answer is yes. So talk with your borrowers. Get a good, clear number of what those reserves are. And at that point, you've got a rock-solid loan. Thanks again.